All right, the rumors have been going around for a little while, so I might as well just come straight out and say it. Yes, there are North Koreans that have deployed to Russia. Are you slow or something? The world already knows that, you muppet. Hey, I ain't no muppet. Can't believe I just took offense to being called a muppet. I've been busy. With what? Stuff. Cool guy things. Technology. Weapons. Lasers and shit. We are on the verge of World War III and you won't stop playing with your toys. Oi, mate. He's not the only one. Thanks for the deal on the missiles. No problem, buddy. I tend to believe we're cut from the same cloth, considering we both told the Brits to go fuck themselves. America, I just read the news. You just sold $4.7 billion of missiles to Australia. Why? Why must you try and subvert me? Stop messing with your mainland there, West Taiwan. It's not my fault you decided to play hide-and-go communist. You ignorant Americans. We are not communist. We have a democratically elected president. Sure. And Russia has hypersonics. Hey, I do have hypersonics. Oh. Are the hypersonics in the room with us right now? Ugh. I don't know why I expected any better than you. You know you're a fucking child. And you're down another distillery. It's unfortunate, isn't it? Yet again, you awful, awful Ukrainians are out here targeting civilian infrastructure. Okay, first of all, they were providing fuel. Uh, therefore, they are a valid wartime target. Second of all, you want to be the pot or the kettle? The amount of war crimes you've committed, I'd run out of paper to list them all out. The most recent of which is when you eliminated like nine of my drone operators. We have it on video, you executing them after they surrendered. And third of all, I'm hoping if I hit enough distilleries, the Russians will sober up enough that they realize you're a complete fucking idiot. It's at this point that I think it's important to remind people that the majority, the slight majority, of Russian czars and presidents have been removed at either gun or knife point or magically, you know, unalived. That is not true. That is, again, just Western propaganda. Like the thing with the North Koreans. They are coming here to train. We are not sending them into the war. Hey, Uncle Sam, this is a perfect opportunity. Just fill my Bombay's full of Little Debbie snack cakes and I'll just drop them over the front line. Consider it a humanitarian thing. I bet we could get at least half of them to defect. You know, the man has a point. If you're going to drop Little Debbie snack cakes, can we get, like, some missiles and rockets and the ability to shoot back? It's going to be a hard maybe. I still got a lot of programs in development, which is super cool, but at the same time, I can't get rid of what's already working. What programs? In the last video, you you boasted about being able to buy one of my lasers. What are you developing? At this point, a shorter list would be what I'm not developing, but I can give you a few. And this first one, I'm kind of afraid to say because it's going to use a new word that all of a sudden Russia is going to start picking up and using in everything. So it's a hypervelocity artillery piece that is radar guided and designed to shoot down aircraft. You say hyper what now? Hey, don't worry about it, Uncle Sam. I got this one. <clears throat> the word is hypervelocity. I use it in a sentence. Don't worry. Meaning that as soon as they let me and the kid off the leash, I'm going to put my hypervelocity boot straight up your ass. Can't fault the man. He's betting a thousand right now. Uh, I also just completed a test with my uh, Locust, like 26 kilowatt laser. Uh, there's a laser, a 30 millimeter, and a stinger pod on top of a striker. And I just shot down targets with it simultaneously like the 30 mic mic was shooting the ground targets while the laser was shooting air targets and the stinger was hitting other air targets it was really cool why are you even considering buying my laser if you already have one one <laughs> i got like at least three in military use a couple in civilian use but you know what's better than three four oh a laser and some new cannons. Whoa, congratulations. You're so scary, America. Well, I mean, another cool thing is DARPA just flew a Black Hawk helicopter completely remotely from like 300 miles away with people on board. And I think they also did a sling load with it, too. So that was kind of cool. Uh, they're using a new system called the Matrix system. Oh, I love those movies, man. They're some of my favorites. You know, I kind of consider myself like an older version of Neo. <laughs> um... Buff, how do you how do you figure that? Now, I may not know Kung Fu or be able to stop bullets, but, you know, Mr. Smith could only, like, consume people that were there and take over their body. And he can't do that if there's nobody there. He's no match for my secret bomb every standing structure in a hundred square miles fighting style. 
I want to find a loophole and say you're wrong, but no, 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 that, that tracks. Yeah, sometimes I like to think, like, what if the Matrix was real? And then my brain kind of takes over, and did you ever think, and I mean, maybe I'm the only one here, that people who have, like, learning disabilities or, or kind of handicaps or something like that just got a bad connection, like some frayed wires in the Matrix, and they just need to be, like, unplugged and plugged back in and just see if that fixes it? No. No, Buff. Nobody ever thinks that. Oh, I guess I'm the only one. I tell you right now, if I did end up outside the Matrix and I saw all those people being batteries, there's a lot of sons of bitches that I'd be jiggling the wires on. Moving on. Uh, I did some sensor upgrades to my U2 Dragon Lady and it passed tracks in real time to five F-35s and F-22, who then passed the tracks to ground stations, which is pretty cool. <gasps> Kid. You double-crossed me. You work with my fucking nemesis. Grandpa, I'm sorry. I had no idea. They just opened the hangar doors and said we were going for a test flight. I had no idea that I was integrating with the Dragon Lady. Oh, hi there, Buff. Technology leaving you behind? You still living in the 20th century? Yeah, I come from an era when we keep our landing gear. It doesn't fall on the runway and a car have to go pick it up, you fucking fod creator. Sticks and stones. There, Buff. Sticks and stones. How about a cruise missile up your urethra? Does that count as fucking sticks and stones, you goddamn diet space shuttle? Grandpa Buff, sorry for butting in. But what is the beef with you two? Yeah. Tell him, Buff. Tell him what it's all about. <sighs> My ex. Eustace. She left me for him. Sent me one of those, uh, they call it a Dear John letter while I was deployed. Actually fucking winning wars instead of hiding above it. <sighs> Says Dear John, but mine said Dear Buff, so I don't know what the fuck that was all about. I'm not saying that woman got around while I was gone, but uh, her favorite shit of lipstick was gas turbine, you know what I'm saying? I don't hold any hard feelings. Let's just say I rise above it. That's fine. I'm okay with taking the low road. It's usually more dangerous anyways, but I would expect that from a NASA reject wannabe fucking satellite. That's really gotten out of hand. America. Also, I read a report that the Houthis got a missile within 200 meters of one of your aircraft carriers back in June. Someone almost touched my boats. Who, who was it? Japan? It was uh, not me. I learned my lesson. The Houthis? They almost touched one of my boats? Yes, they almost touched one of your aircraft carriers, but this this was back in June. How do you not know about this? Oh, oh yeah, 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 I, I remember that now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> False alarm, everybody. We're, we're good. Uh, yeah, no, I remember that. Do you remember, like, right after that, I eliminated, like, 80 targets overnight in, like, three hours? Yeah. And as they continue to progress and just get stupider, that's why I played Surprise with my B2 recently. I'm starting to wonder exactly how much in this world you remember. You know that you currently have an E. coli outbreak in your quarter panda with cheese from McDonald's, right? <gasps> Not the QPCs!